Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a Next.js app with PM2. So first let's make sure that PM2 is installed. Alright, and then let's create a new Next.js app. Next, let's create a private GitHub repo. And let's push this to that repo. Next, let's launch a compute instance running Ubuntu. Uh, for this, I'll be using AWS EC2, but you can use whatever uh, cloud platform you want. So let's click on to EC2, and then launch instance. Next, let's go back to our local machine and generate the PM2 ecosystem. All right, so this was the file that it generated. So we're gonna make, wanna make a few changes here. So let's get rid of that, and get rid of that. And let's do an NPM start. Uh, because this starts the next server for the SSH username, we're going to want Ubuntu. Uh, we also want to have an SSH key here. So key.pem. And let's copy that file to this directory. And for the SSH host machine, let's go back to AWS and um, click on the instance and copy the IP and let's do that and for the branch it was called main uh, for the git repository let's go back to git and copy the URL here and and for the destination path uh, this should be home Ubuntu, and since we are going to be using NVM, we're going to have to source that before we can use Node. Okay, and then we're also going to want to do an npm run build. Okay, and finally, we will want an SSH options, and we're going to do forward agent equals yes. Okay, let's check in this file, and then commit. And then uh, let's push this to GitHub. All right, next let's SSH into the server. So SSH I. Uh, let's 
try that again. Okay, that worked. All right, next uh, let's install NVM. So you can find this command from the NVM git repo. Okay, and then let's do a source bash rc and so now we have nvm installed we can do nvm install lts and let's install pm2 start. Okay, let's check the browser and we'll go ahead and click on open address and it says the site can't be reached, but that's because we don't have HTTPS set up yet. So let's go here. All right, so we see our Nginx welcome page. All right, let's uh, configure Nginx. So let's go back to the terminal and then I'll do a sudo vim nginx uh, myapp.conf and okay, I'm gonna paste in this. And let's change this to the IP address for now. machine and uh, we're going to want to do a vim uh, and then we're going to SSH uh, or edit the configuration for SSH and I'm going to type in um, host and then paste in the IP and then do a forward agent yes okay and uh, let's go back to our server here. And um, we're going to do an sshtt get at github.com and say yes. And it says permission denied. So let's go back to our local. Um, actually, let's exit out of here and then uh, SSH back in and all right, and then let's do SSH dash T get at github.com. Okay, we are back at the local machine and we need to do an SSH add. And now we can um, SSH back into the server and do an SSH t get at github.com. And it says you've successfully authenticated. So that's good. 
Uh, now let's go back to our local and run tm2 deploy production setup. Okay, and let's do a pm2 deploy production. Okay, it says there was a success. So let's go back to the server and now let's do a PM2 LS. Okay, PM2 log. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to our URL and see. All right, so there's our Next.js page. However, we are not finished with the setup yet. As you can see, the site is not secure as it is lacking the SSL cert. So to fix that, we will need to go to our DNS provider. So I am using DreamHost, but you can use whatever uh, DNS provider you want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create a record here and create an A record. And I'm gonna say my app points to uh, this IP address. And I'm going to add record. And so this takes a while. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the recording and come back later. Uh, so it looks like our domain propagation status is propagated. And uh, and if we go to our URL, you'll see that it is pointing to uh, the Nginx welcome page. So to fix this, we'll just have to go back to the server and then edit the configuration. And I'll go ahead and change this to the URL. So that oh it's read only so let me that refresh this oh have to restart Okay, so there's the next site. Uh, so we've just uh, set up the domain, but we still have to uh, set up our SSL certificate. For this, we will need certbot. So uh, we go to this certbot.f.org, and then uh, we'll say my HTTP website is running Nginx on uh, Ubuntu 20. And this should give us a set of instructions to follow. All right, so uh, we are back in the server here and I'm gonna run these commands.
I'm going to use a fake email here. Okay, so it looks like uh, that worked. Now let's go back to our app. Refresh. Okay, so now we have the lock icon and uh, we have a working SSL cert. That concludes our tutorial on how to deploy Next.js with PM2. For more resources on full stack development, check out fullstackbook.com. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.